Imagine the taste of a vibrant, spicy dish, bursting with the flavors of tomatoes, peppers, and a medley of aromatic spices. This is the magic of Nigerian jollof rice, a staple in West African cuisine. This dish is a symphony of taste, color, and texture that delights the senses and warms the heart. Originating from the Jollof Empire in Senegal, the dish has found its way into the hearts and homes of food lovers across Nigeria and beyond. Its cultural significance is as rich as its flavor profile, steeped in centuries-old traditions and family gatherings. The unique blend of long-grain parboiled rice, a hearty tomato stew, and a variety of vegetables and spices creates a dish that's truly one of a kind. The magic of Nigerian jollof rice lies not only in its taste, but also in the joy it brings to those who share in its preparation and consumption. So, are you ready to bring this delicious experience to your own kitchen? We'll guide you through it, step by step. To start, gather all the necessary ingredients for this flavorful adventure. Nigerian yolof rice, a staple dish known for its rich taste and vibrant color, requires a special blend of ingredients, each playing a crucial role in creating the dish's unique taste. First, we have long grain parboiled rice. This type of rice is ideal as it holds its shape well and doesn't stick together, allowing each grain to be evenly coated with the beautiful flavors of the dish. Next, we have tomatoes, the heart of the dish, providing a mild sweetness and tang that is distinctively Nigerian. Red bell peppers, on the other hand, offer a gentle kick and contribute to the dish's iconic red hue. And of course, no Nigerian dish would be complete without onions, which add a depth of flavor and aroma that is simply irresistible. Now, let's turn up the heat with some scotch bonnet. This fiery pepper is not for the faint-hearted. It gives the jollof rice its characteristic spice and heat, but remember, a little goes a long way. Chicken stock is another key component. It provides a rich and savory foundation, enhancing the flavors of all the other ingredients. Vegetable oil is used for frying the ingredients, giving the dish its classic glossy finish. Next, the trio of thyme, curry powder, and bay leaves these herbs and spices impart a fragrant aroma and a robust flavor profile that is unmistakably African. Thyme adds a subtle earthiness. Curry powder provides a hint of spice and bay leaves lend a mild sweetness to the dish. Finally, we have the all-important salt. It might seem simple, but salt is what brings out the flavors of all the other ingredients, tying them together into a harmonious blend of taste sensations. With all these ingredients in place, you're ready to start cooking. This symphony of flavors promises a culinary journey like no other. So let's get started and discover the magic of Nigerian jollof rice. Now that you have everything, it's time to get your hands dirty and start prepping your ingredients. First up is the rice. We're going to wash it thoroughly under cold running water. This is a crucial step as it removes the starchiness, ensuring the grains don't stick together and you're left with fluffy individual grains in your jollof rice. Once it's washed, drain it well and set it aside. Next up is the vibrant array of vegetables. With a sharp knife, start chopping your bell peppers, onions and tomatoes. Aim for a medium dice, not too chunky but not too small. Remember, these veggies are going to melt together to create the flavor base for our rice. So take your time and enjoy this process. Moving on to the chicken stock. If you're using a homemade one, fantastic. If not, store-bought will work just fine. This is going to add a depth of flavor that water simply can't provide. So warm your chicken stock up just a bit. It doesn't need to be boiling, just warm enough to help it mix well with the rest of our ingredients. And there you have it. You've prepped your ingredients and you're well on your way to creating a delicious pot of Nigerian jollof rice. By focusing on these steps, you're ensuring the perfect texture and flavor for your dish. Great work! Now let's move to the exciting part, cooking! With all your ingredients prepped, it's time to bring this dish to life. First things first, let's fire up the stove and place a large pot on it. Pour in some vegetable oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the pot and let it heat up a bit. Once it's hot, throw in your finely chopped onions, stirring them around until they're beautifully golden and aromatic. Next, it's time for the garlic and ginger to join the party. Saute them for a couple of minutes until they release their heavenly fragrances into the pot. Now let's dial up the flavor a notch. Add your blend of spices, the thyme, curry powder, bay leaves, and that all-important Maggi cube. 
Stir everything together, letting those spices mingle and get to know each other. You'll know it's ready when your kitchen starts to smell like a bustling Nigerian market. All right, it's time for the star of the show, the tomatoes and peppers. You've blended them into a smooth puree, remember? Pour that into the pot and stir. Let it cook down until the oil starts to float on top. This could take a good 20 to 30 minutes, but trust me, it's worth every second. Once the tomato sauce is ready, it's time to introduce the rice. You've washed and drained it, haven't you? Good. Add it to the pot and stir until every grain is coated with that delicious sauce. Pour in some chicken broth for added flavor and bring everything to a simmer. Now, this is the part where patience becomes a virtue. Lower the heat, cover the pot, and let the rice cook slowly, absorbing all those delicious flavors. It could take up to 30 minutes, but resist the temptation to stir. We want the rice to steam, not become mushy. And there you have it, your Nigerian jollof rice is now ready. But wait, there's one last step. Now for the final touch, serving your Nigerian jollof rice. This is where the magic of your labor comes to life. Picture this, a steamy, vibrant mound of yolof rice gracing the center of your dining table, its enticing aroma wafting through the air. But wait, there's more. The art of the perfect serve lies in pairing your jollof rice with delightful side dishes. Traditional sides include fried plantains, coleslaw or grilled chicken. Each of these adds a unique dimension to your meal. Take the fried plantains for instance. Their sweet caramelized exterior is a splendid contrast to the spicy, savory notes of the jollof rice. It's a symphony of flavors that dances on your palate, a harmony between sweet and spicy. Then there's the coleslaw. The crisp, fresh crunch of the coleslaw provides a refreshing counterpoint to the rich, deep flavors of the jollof rice. It's a burst of freshness that cuts through the richness, balancing out your plate. And who can forget the grilled chicken? Its smoky, charred flavor adds depth to your meal, complementing the robust flavors of the jollof rice. Plus, it's a fantastic source of protein, making your meal not just tasty, but also well-rounded. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy your homemade Nigerian jollof rice. Bon appetit!